I just got some mail from my friends at Universal Solder. They sent me an email a while ago, just after I uh, released that uh, video on their other kit. And he sent me an email and said, hey, is this you doing the video? I found you in my customer database. And I said, yeah. And he said, I'm going to send you something. So this is probably that. But first, I have a beer. The Highlander Wee Scotch Heavy from Stone Angel Brewing. 9% alcohol. Woohoo, that'd be the heavy part. I'm guessing 35 IBU. A complex malt and caramel character with a warming alcohol presence makes our wee heavy and approachable and satisfying beer for the cold winter months. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, back to this. Let's see what he sent me. There was a couple of hints in the email, but he said he wasn't he wasn't gonna ruin the surprise. So Wow, that's a oh there's a note. Okay, it's not a note for me specifically, it's a note about this thing. So it's it's a surface mount kit. What does this say? Uh, slow and fast flashing little thing here. Okay. A low dropout also, or a uh, low dropout uh, voltage regulator, I'm assuming. And fast and slow and fast and slow flashing LEDs. Oh, neat little thing. I guess we're going to have to put it together, obviously. That's going to be a super quick kit, except for the fact that I've done exactly what two surface mount soldering circuit boards uh, and one of them actually both of them I did with the iron but I do have a heat gun with my soldering station over here which I think I might try and do this with solder paste let me just get a few things and I'll be right back so first of all I've discovered that my cutting mat is uh, deforms when it gets hot. Um, you can't see it down in the... Oh, let me just tilt down a little bit here. You can see that it's kind of bubbled up and lost its shape, which is annoying. So, I'm going to solder on this piece of masonite. Because I'm doing surface mount, uh, and with the heat gun, I'm going to want uh, some uh, heat or uh, heat resistant uh, back plane. Back plane? Backing. Surface. Then I'm going to use some solder paste. This is 6337. Um, it's yeah, from eBay as expected. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to use one of these syringe plungers to push it out. And one of these tips on it. Let's see now. There's a couple of different sizes. I think that one will be excessive. I think I'll use this tip here. Yeah, it's about the size of the pads, so that should work. So, let's put that onto there. And pop that little cap off. And shove that. Oh, okay. That doesn't quite go down in there. Well, whatever. It's kind of loosey-goosey, but it should work. And I'll just get this. Will that go? Will that go? Prime the pump. Come on. Hmm. That's being awfully difficult. Oh, there's some coming out. Can you see it? There's a little bit of solder coming out there. Okay. That's interesting. Well, I should be able to make that work. Let's open up the board and see what it says. So one thing that uh, Volker did say in the email that he sent, uh, Volker is the guy that runs Universal Solder. Um, he said that this is one of his uh, prototypes, part of a test batch. He said that the uh, it would have uh, different, some different colors and stuff to it uh, when he's done. So it looks like it plugs into USB and powers these LEDs just, just for fun. That's 
interesting. It looks a little bit different. Let me just zoom in here. This one looks, a, the pad layout looks a little bit different than what it shows on there. Specifically, this area right here. Hmm. So I'm going to guess that this set of pads here is for a low voltage dropout voltage regulator. And there's a couple of through holes there. I'm not sure what's going on up here. Hmm. Okay, well that took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, I did a big Clive style reverse engineer here and I was having trouble figuring out where that regulator would fit, partly because when I looked at the part number of it, I was looking at the wrong data sheet. So the, um, the regulator sits right there so there's plus voltage coming in here uh, the ground over here and the output going out here now these extra pads I went and checked some uh, an email that I got from Volker and he said that um, one of the other things that uh, that makes this an earlier prototype is it had a couple of capacitors one across there and one across there, but they're not needed, so he eliminated them. So if you get your hands on one of these boards in the future, it won't have those extra pads and it'll just have the pads for the regulator in the middle, like it shows there. So time to get busy, I think. So again, I'm not, I haven't done this before, so. We'll see how this goes. Hmm. Wondering if my solder paste is a little dry. That's not working very well at all. Maybe, rather than doing it that way, I'll just squidge some out onto here. Is that enough? It's probably more than enough. Hmm. This is not pretty. This is not working very well at all. Well, okay. I got some smeared on there. Maybe I'll keep going. This is not ideal. I should be able to squeeze it out of the out of the dispenser. No, this isn't ideal at all. But I've come this far, so I'm just going to plow ahead with it for now. And we'll see what happens. And it's not a complex circuit, so I should be able to fix any mistakes that I make. Starting to get the hang of it a little bit here. This is still not the way it should be done. And there's the LEDs. And this pad. And that pad. And that pad over there needs a little bit more. This is... Okay, I probably have to add some solder with the iron leader just to touch this up. We'll see. Liberate these guys from an anti-static bag. But I think I will just bring them out one at a time. So there's the regulator. Uh-oh. There's a smush that stuff on there. Okay, it goes that way. So that away. Uh, 
Okay, that's probably way too much solder paste on there. We'll see what happens. So next there's three, three F, I'm assuming fast flashing LEDs. We go on the outside. Um, there we go. One, two, three. What occurs to me, which side is which? Arrow pointing that way. The arrow points towards the negative in the direction of the positive. So, so this is the three F ones. So, one, two, uh oh. Phew. That was nervous. Okay, flip him over. Ah, these guys that do surface mount projects all the time, I'm growing an increasing respect for them. This is, as I said, this is only really the first or second surface mount uh, thing that I've done. And these are especially tiny components. What uh, what size are these guys anyways? Uh, where is it here? Are these 603s? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so that arrow's pointing that way. And where did you go? That arrow is pointing that way. Now then, how does that look? Ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. You get down there. So that schmoo out of there. I think I'm going to put a smaller nozzle on my heat gun. That one's a little bit huge. Um, what are my options? Those are my options. Go for the smallest one? Sure. That was my other option there. I guess I didn't have it in frame when I put it down. So, this guy is set for 371 degrees. We'll see if that actually means anything. I'm going to zoom in as tight as I can here. Where should I start? With this LED at this end? Should I just generally warm the whole board? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, would you look at that? That's pretty freaking magical. All that solder just wicks. Ooh. It's going on down there. Wow, that solder just pulls them right into place. What's happened there? Why is that balled up? Is the board not hot enough? Hmm. What's happened on that regulator there? Looks like the solder kind of balled up. I am going to give it a 
bit of a fluxing. Whoa! Just give it like a quarter Rossman or so. And get back into there. Because I don't think that solder should be balled up like that. Well, I know it shouldn't be. It should flatten out. Unless that's just be that's just the surplus because I put way too freaking much on there. I'm gonna let that cool because I know I'm gonna burn my fingers if I don't. And then I'll uh, take a closer look with magnifying glass. Okay, well that's not ideal. That guy's clearly sitting higher than he should be. That one's not bad. That one's really good. That one's really good. That one's sitting at a funkadelic angle. And you... I think that's just excess solder because I put way too much on. Hmm. I think I'm going to see if it works before I uh, start messing around any further. There we go. <laughs> Even with my crappy soldering, it worked. First try. How about that? That's awesome. So, um, as I said, Volker tells me this is a prototype, so you won't find it in his store quite yet. I'll let him er, comment down below, um, cause, uh, I, th I hope he's still subscribed. I think he was before. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's, uh, it's, this is a new thing that he's put together and he just sent this one to me just as a, as a thanks for doing that other video. No money changed hands. This is not sponsored, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, I didn't ask him for this. He just said, Hey, thanks for doing that here. Let me send you a thing. So that's, that was a fun little project to throw together. I like stuff like that. And I didn't know you could get uh, the color changing flashing LEDs in that form factor. That's fun too. So about that uh, wonky angles, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, I think I will. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate that. Um, that was fun. Thanks to uh, Volker from Universal Solder, or Solder as people in other places call it. Um, that was that's a, just a fun little kit. Um, you'll, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that he uh, chimes in down the comments uh, with, uh, with some information about that uh, if anybody's curious. And I will talk to you guys later. Cheers.